Assalamualaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on simplifying Java for OOP1 students of King Faisal University and for others who want to learn Java. This is part 10 in this series and is entitled Arrays in Java. In our previous activities, we have been using variables that can hold only one value at a time. To store more than one value in a variable, we need to declare it as an array. Array elements are referred by using index. Here are two ways of declaring an array of integers. We start with the data type int, followed by the open and the close square bracket, the name of the array, the equal sign, the new reserve word, the data type int again, and inside the open and the close square bracket is the number of items for the array. The second way is by immediately assigning the values to the array enclosed by curly braces. In the computer's memory, it will look something like this, that there's an array whose name is nums2 with five elements, the index starts with zero and ends with four, and the values are this. Let's proceed to activity number 17 to understand it better. We will create a Java class that will ask a user to enter five integers in an array. We will sort the array from lowest to highest. For our input, the user has to enter five numbers that will be stored in array nums. This can be done by using the for statement. The initial value of the counter is zero. The condition is x is less than five and the increment will be plus plus. To sort the elements, we need to import java.util.arrays and then the command to actually sort it is arrays.sort and then the name of the array. To display the sorted array, we are going to use again the for loop statement and we'll reuse the counter x and we will display the value for each element. So the output will be the array. Let's call our project array numbers. We're going to import two classes. The java.util scanner and the java.util.arrays. Let's instantiate the scanner. Let's call it input. Let's declare our array of type integer. Let's call it nums with five elements. Let's also declare our counter. We'll call it x. For our input, we will use the for statement. Our counter will start with zero because the index starts with zero. Our condition is while the counter is less than 5 and it will be an increment for our counter. We will put that in nums x. To sort the values from lowest to highest, we will use arrays that sort method. To display the sorted elements, we will just copy the for statement above. We don't need this line, so we'll delete it and we'll just alter our values plus nums x and we'll use print line instead. Let's try to run our program. One hundred sixty seven, twenty, seventy, and eighteen. 
Now, the sorted numbers are 18, 20, 67, 70, and 100. Let's proceed with activity number 18 and we will deal with string. Create a Java class that will ask a user to enter five names in an array. We will sort the array from A to Z. This activity is almost identical to activity number 17, but instead of numbers, we're going to deal with strings. Let's call our project array strings. We need to import scanner and arrays. Let's instantiate our scanner. Let's call it input. Let's declare our string array. Of five elements. And our counter. We'll ask the user to input five names using for statement. And we will put that in names x. We will sort it again by using the method sort from array class. And we will display the result by copying the first four statement. Again, we don't need the second line. We'll just change our contents. Now let's run our project. Let's enter five numbers. Salim. Said. Walid, Abdallah, and Ahmed. When arranged alphabetically, it will start with Abdallah, followed by Ahmed, Said, Salim, and Walid. That will do for now. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Masalama.